Hadoop, an open source framework that is used to efficiently store and process the large data set ranging the size from gigabyte to petabytes of data. Instead of using one large computer to store and process the data, Hadoop allows the clustering multiple computers to analyze the massive data set in parallel and more quickly. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Hadoop onto your MacBook with the Apple Silicon or any newer version of MacBook. So before installing Hadoop onto your system, you need to make sure to install Java 8 onto your system. So to check if Java JDK is already installed into your system or not, just open terminal and just type Java hyphen version. And if it shows something like the operation could not be completed, then Java JDK is not installed into your system. So if you are able to see other version of Java, so you can completely remove the Java JDK. So I have already got video for that. Check out on the description. So once you remove the Java JDK, so to install Java JDK 8, just go to your favorite browser and source for download Java JDK and just go to this first link from oracle.com. So if you just scroll down at the bottom, you can see Java 8 and just click on this Mac OS and just click on this JDK. So just click on here. So accept the license agreement and click on DMG file. So this should start downloading this GMG file. So if it's asking you to sign in with the Oracle account, so once you sign in with that, so this would automatically start downloading this GMG. So once you download, just click on this so in Finder and let me just double click onto this DMG file and double click on this package. So this should now open the installer. So just click on continue, click on install and enter the password of your Mac. So you can see the installation is completed. Let me just click and close and let me just move this uh, installer into the trash. So we don't need this anymore. So let me just close everything from here. And if I just again go to the terminal and just type Java hyphen version. So you can see the Java 8 has been successfully installed into our system. So once you do that, so we need to make sure to set up the Java home into our environment as well. So for that, I will be using the VS code. So if you are comfortable with Nano or Vim, so you can go with that as well or you can use any code editor or any editor. So I will be using the VS code. So for that, let me just type code and dot Z profile and just click enter. So this should open the Z profile in the VS code. And if I just go at the bottom, so here, so we just need to add the Java home. So for that, let me again go to the terminal and just type slash usr and livxcc and java home and click on enter so this is not showing anything from here but what we can do is just go into the library java java virtual machine and click enter so this is still not showing anything so if i just click on ls so you can see the java jdk 8 so we just need to add the path of this so let me just type jdk and if i just type ls so you can see the content so just type pwd and we just need to copy this path so let me just copy this path from here and just go into this z profile and just type java home underscore home equals and just type paste that path and once you do that so just type content slash home so just type slash contents slash home so let me just save this from here. So once you do that, let me just close this from here and again go to the terminal. And now if I just type clear and let me just type command and T to open the new tab and just type echo and dollar Java home. So you can see the Java home has been successfully added into our environment. So once we set up the Java JDK and Java home, so we need to make sure to enable the SSH to the local host. So let me just close this one from here. And for that, let me just open the system preferences. So just type system preferences. And here the source for sharing. So just go into this sharing. And if you see here, so you can see the remote login. So you just need to tick here. So just tick on this remote login. So once we do that, so we need to create the security key for SSH. So for that, let me just go into the browser and you can just search for code with urgent.medium.com. So just go into this. So if you see here, so I have got this article, so I will just put the link into the description so you can just directly go from there as well. So just click on this install Hadoop on Mac OS M1 and M2. So this is the newer one. So just click on that 
and if you just go into here so you can see these commands so just copy this command from here and go to the terminal and you just need to paste that command so just click enter so this should generate the command so key or uh, let me just type y and just click enter so once you do that again go to here so let me just go into here let me just copy this again and let me just paste it inside here and again just go here just copy this command and just click enter and now if this SSH key is working fine or not to check that we can just type SSH and localhost and just click enter so if it's showing something like last login and like this then the SSH key is working completely fine so once you do that so just pressure control and D so this will close the localhost connection so once you enable SSH for localhost so we just need to download the Hadoop so for that go to the browser and source for download Hadoop and just go to this first link from hadoop.apache.org and here you can see all the available versions so I will go with the latest version so at the time of recording this video 3.3.3 is the latest version so if you have got different newer versions, so you can go with that as well so to download so we just need to click on this binary so just click on that and at the top you can see the tar file so just click on that so this should start downloading the tar file for installing the Hadoop so once this tar file is downloaded let me just go into this so in finder and let me just double click onto this to extract this tar file so once this is extracted so let me just drag and drop into my main root folder so I have the root folder of origin code so you can just put accordingly so I have this 3.3.3 version so I have the older version as well so I will just remove this older version and we just need to configure the environment variable for this Hadoop 3.3.3 so now to set up the environment variable let me again go to the terminal and let me just type command and t to open the new tab and let me just type code dot z profile again and if you are comfortable again with nano or vim so you can go with that as well so once you do that let me again go to the article and go here so we just need to copy these lines so let me just copy all of these lines from here and let me just go into the vs code and let me just paste into it here so the only thing you need to change is this hadoop home path so for that let me again go to the terminal so you can just type pwd here so you can see i am in the root folder user slash origin codes and if i just type cd hadoop 3.3.3 just go inside here and pwd so you can see this is the path of Hadoop so let me just copy this one from here and let me just paste inside here and just type slash and once you do that so you are done with that so let me just save this one from here so once you save this one so we just need to refresh the environment variable so for that again go to the terminal and just type cd and just type source dot z profile so this should now refresh the environment variable as well so now we just need to configure the hadoop so for that we just need to go to the hadoop env dot assets so for that just type sudo and just type code dollar hadoop home so just type hadoop home not opts hadoop home slash etc slash hadoop and hadoop environment dot assets so just click onto that and enter the password of your Mac. So this should open the Hadoop env.sh inside your BS code. Or if you're comfortable with Nano or Beam, so you can go with that again as well with that. So here you can see on 54 lines, so you can see the Java home. So just uncomment this one. So once you uncomment, so we just need to add the Java home path as well. So for that, let me just again go to the terminal. And if I just type echo dollar java home so you can see this is the java home path which we have just said before so let me just copy this from, from this one from here and let me just paste it inside here let me just save this one so once you just change, make changes on hadoop env dot asset so we just need to make changes on core side dot xml so for that again go to the terminal and just type sudo and just type code dollar Hadoop home so just type Hadoop home and just replace this Hadoop environment.ss by coreside.xml just click enter 
so here this will open something like this so we just need to add the configuration so for that again go to the article and if you just scroll down here so you can see the coreside.xml so let me just copy this one from here and let me just go to the vs code again so let me just paste instead of this configuration and here you just need to change this users sdfs temp so this is as it is so you just need to change it inside here so your computer name so which is basically arjun codes in my case so if you have got different so you can just change this arjun codes only instead of this one so how to find this username you can just directly go to the terminal and just type pwd so this is the exact username which you will have so you can just write it down here so once you do that just save this coside.xml so similarly the second thing we need to change is sdfs site.xml so for that again just type the same command sudo code hadoop etc environment and just change this core site with the sdfs site.xml so you can see so this is again showing the configuration so we just need to change this configuration from article so let me just go here so let me just from here so let me just copy and let me just paste it inside vs code so here again you just need to change this into your name so let me just type urgent codes in my case so here also you just need to change urgent codes and let me just save this one from here so once you edit this as dfs site.xml let me again go to the terminal and we just need to change the map rate site.xml as well so let me just type map rate so just type slash map rate site.xml and let me again go to the article here and let me just copy this one from here and let me just go into the vs code again and let me just paste it into here so we don't need to change anything here so once you save this one so again go to the terminal and once you do that so we just need to change the yarn site.xml as well so again just replace this map rate with yarn site.xml just click enter and instead of this configuration so we just need to go to the article again so let me just copy everything from here and let me just go into the vs code so here let me just paste into here so we don't need to change anything here as well so let me just save this yarn site.xml as well so once you do that if i just go to the terminal and let me just type sdfs so we just need to basically format the sdfs name node so just type hadoop name node hyphen format so just click enter so this should format the name node so this is showing some error so maybe i have used this before so this is showing some error so let me just stop all dot asset so if you if it's not showing anything in your case so you don't need to do anything so in my case i have already used the hadoop so this is showing some warning so if you are able to see this kind of warning so you can just type stop all dot asset and just click enter so once this is done let me again just type sdfs name node hyphen format so you can see this is working fine now and now if i just type start all dot assets and just click enter so this should start all the name node data node and resource manager so you can see name node is starting data node is also starting so you can see this has successfully started so if i just type jps so you can see all name node and data node and this was manager secondary name node and node manager all are starting fine so now to check let me just go to the browser again and if i just type localhost and just type colon and just type 9870 and just click enter so you can see this is working completely fine so inside this utilities just click onto this browse the file system so now we will be creating some folder or directory and inside there so we will be adding some files so for that we can just type let me again go to the terminal and just type hadoop fs and hyphen make directory so make directory and just type slash user slash you can just give the username and your cast so in my case i will just give arjun.gautam so you can just give anything and just click enter so here showing something like there's no directory so first we just need to create the user only so again just type the same command let me just clear this and let me just click enter so now this should work and if i just go here and reload so you can see 
the user is already created and again just type same command slash origin.gautam just click enter and if I just go into this user so you can see the folder or directory with the origin.gautam is created successfully so inside here I just want to add one CSV file so for that again go to the terminal so I will be creating inside the desktop so let me just go inside desktop and let me just create one demo.csv file so you can see the demo.csv file has been created so i just want to add this demo.csv inside this origin.gotham so for that what i need to do is just type hadoop and fs hyphen put and demo.csv this is the file name and we just want to add it inside the user slash origin.gotham so if i just click enter so if I just go inside this folder, so you can see the demo.csv file has been successfully added into the folder. So this is how you basically install the Hadoop onto your MacBook with the Apple Silicon or any newer version. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, be sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one.